Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. I just recently released a very exciting video sharing all about the new icon box, Ipsy icon box for November 2023. The very exciting curator, if you want to know more about it and have not seen that one yet, then I will link it here and you can go check that one out. A very exciting one, so exciting, probably the most exciting I have seen so far. Uh, but anyway, now I have some spoilers for the Boxy Charm box as well as the Ipsy Glam Bag. So we're gonna see if those are equally as exciting, <laughs> if they're gonna keep up with our exciting news from the Icon Box or not. So if that interests you, make sure to pop that subscribe button. I do a lot of beauty boxes here on my channel, very much into beauty subscriptions. I cover the spoilers like this one, as well as unboxings and try-ons a lot of times as well. We go through the products, review them, and sometimes create a makeup look from them on the ones um, that I can. Um, so anyway, you'll want to stick around here if you love all of that beauty as well. And so um, today we're going to be covering more Ipsy, and I, I do a lot of Ipsy here, and Ipsy is very popular for good reasons. So Anyway, let's dig in and see what our spoilers are looking like. We're going to cover actually BoxyCharm, Glam Bag, and Beauty Boost here. And remember that I put everything in the caption, um, a timestamp for you. So if there's only one that you're interested in, you can skip right to that. Just go to my ca caption there and you can click on the timestamp for it. All right, so let's dig in and see what we got for November. Okay, we're going to talk about a BoxyCharm. And I am not going to lie, I am... A little bit pleased with boxy um it's a mix you know i mean there is some <laughs> there's definitely a lot of skincare picks here but good skincare and these are all brands that i haven't really tried that i've wanted to try always have my eye on and so and quality stuff so let's scope it all out so the first thing we have up is locatane so locatane light comforting cream this is a moisturizer it retails for $40, non-comedogenic, supposed to be very lightweight, made um, especially with shea butter. And this is also vegan and for all skin types. And I've definitely had my eye on Locutane and still can't believe I haven't tried it. So um, it's a very, you know, popular brand out there. So excited to see this possibly. We've also got more Ole Henriksen. I always like Ole Henriksen. We do see it in Boxy a good bit, um, you know, in Ipsy um, and other boxes, um, but great brand. We did see truth serum last month um, but this time it's a little different it's the truth serum collagen booster this time um so another like serum type product here this retails for 33.99 pretty specific does include some vitamin c in there very brightening and made to firm the skin is supposed to be sensitive skin friendly so um more good skin care in my opinion then we also have Kapari Beauty, which I love Kapari. And this is going to be their clean purifying gel cleanser. It's supposed to be kind of like a gel to foam um, texture to, you know, remove uh, makeup and clean the face. It's also vegan and cruelty free, recyclable materials. I'm loving seeing all the vegan and clean skincare in this box. All these spoilers. This is making me happy. This one's kind of made with like uh, marine algae extracts, vitamin Bs, all of that going on and retails for $29. Um, very excited to see Kapari Beauty. Like all of these are great. Next we have makeup. So very good. I know we all get excited to see the makeup. LYS Beauty. This is the Lash Confidence Curling and Lengthening Clean Mascara. So again, clean. I, I love it. And they're also vegan as well. This is vegan product too. Um, look at this curling wand. So definitely a curling mascara, um, curling and lengthening as it says. Um, and this one actually uh, retails for $19. I'm kind of surprised. It seems like a good price for LYS Beauty. Oh yeah. Okay, next we have a palette. Now, I think this is from Alamar Cosmetics, which I can never remember their name. Um, we've gotten them a few times and I'm always like, what is this? Because the br whenever I get like their brushes, I can't read their name on there. So I think it's Alamar Cosmetics, but I don't know, I can't find this um, palette on their site. So I can't tell you the retail value and much about this, this palette other than it looks like a colorful color story, which is exciting because there's not many of these in Ipsy. You got some blues going on here too. So that's kind of exciting. 
I've liked Alamar. I haven't done a lot from them other than um, BoxyCharm. Um, but it does look like, you know, colorful color story going on and some shimmers and mattes, kind of a mix of them. So, you know, might be interesting to try that out. I'm glad to see a palette. And then we've also got Osea. I don't know if I say it right, but I always see the brand and I'm super excited to try it. So happy to see it show up. This is the Ocean Eyes Age Defying Serum. Retails for $58. So high commodity there. And it's made with kind of like a seaweed blend. Also includes some hyaluronic acid and peptides. It's supposed to kind of tout at, be touted as anti-aging. And then finally, the last thing we have is another palette. So this looks nice. I love seeing the palettes, of course. I get excited about that. And this is from Toy Factory. So um, the only time I've tried and had heard of Toy Factory was through Ipsy. We've gotten a few things from them. I will say that everything I've gotten from them, I have really, really liked. I loved their blush palette before, and then I like their dewy setting spray. Um, so this is going to be the Sidekick One Squalene palette. It's got both eyeshadows and blush, I think. Um, looks like nine eyeshadows and two blushes, but they're advertising it with having eight velvet mattes and three shimmers. So I'm assuming those mattes maybe include the blush. And so the thing about squalene, if you've heard of it, the squalene is like plant-based. And so it's supposedly supposed to help with, you know, skincare. Um, so after you're doing, you know, eyeshadow it's supposed to help kind of prevent any post makeup breakouts and stuff. So that's the interesting note about the squalene. Squalene, I never say, know if I say it right, <laughs> but I see it, you know, it's in, it's a skincare you know, ingredient basically and plant-based. And then a little more about Toy Factory. I didn't realize they are actually LGBTQ owned. Um, and this product retails for $48 and is also vegan and cruelty-free as well. So again, I am loving seeing so much vegan and clean. I'm loving this mix of brands, all, all the skincare, like I haven't tried and have wanted to try. So I'm excited about the skincare lineup. And I'm excited about these palettes, um, some of the makeup too, to try them. Um, so yeah, that's everything I'm seeing for spoilers right now for BoxyCharm. Okay, let's talk about Glam Bag. I'm seeing a few good things in here. A few I'm so-so about, but a couple that I'm excited about. Okay, so let's start off. First off, we have this Beauty Stat Universal C Skin Refiner. It's a vitamin C brightening serum, basically. I've seen this several times. I actually have it, and I still have not really been using it yet, but I've heard some rave reviews from uh, at least one person um, out there. One of you guys were really touting this, so... I've got it on my list to try to make it like my very next thing to really try consistently because that sounded exciting. Um, and it is a very quality product, it seems. The full size normally retails for $85, so tells you something. It's supposed to be a brightener. It has um, stabilized L-absorbic acid, which is supposed to be the purest form of vitamin C. Um, so, uh, you know, a vitamin C a brightening serum. Okay, next we have Cab Cosmetics, and we're going to have this eyeshadow quad. And, you know, the Ipsy Glam Bag is always kind of known for their little quads whenever we get eyeshadow or, you know, makeup like that. Um, but this is not your typical, like, little Ipsy small, like, white quad. This um, does retail on their website on the Cab Cosmetics, and it retails for $18. Um, this, the picture that they have from Ipsy it looks like it's probably going to be the shade Naked. Hopefully they don't flag that on my channel. Google doesn't decide to say, ooh, you said that. I've actually gotten in trouble with YouTube before <laughs> on a short because I titled it like nude for like nude lipstick and they flagged me. I'm like, really? <laughs> so anyway, I got to be careful what I say. <laughs> So anyway, um, I've tried the Cab Cosmetics from another beauty box and, you know, I enjoyed um, that one. It was a much bigger palette. So I'm kind of interested in this, you know, being in a quad. Um, but basically that naked color story is like a neutrally, you know, again, it's going to be a good little fall look. Um, you got your kind of neutrals and browns and champagnes. You do have some mattes and shimmers there. So that looks nice. 
Okay, next we have Patchology, and we're actually looking at sheet masks here. I don't usually see sheet masks in a, a glam bag, so that's cool. And this is the Hydrating Flash Mask Hydrate 5 Minutes. Um, they're showing a two-pack, um, and normally the two-pack retails for $10. So I don't know if they'll actually give us a two-pack or like one sheet mask or what, um, since glam bags usually... Um, deluxe sizes and everything. This one is just like basically a hydrating boost. It's got some hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, tain, however you pronounce it. Um, it's supposed to be, you know, just softening and smoothing, all of that. Next, we have Sutra Beauty, and this is the Heat Guard Leave-In Cream. So this is for your hair, basically a leave-in treatment for your hair. It's just like a big, like, infusion of moisture, but also helping with frizz and all of that. Retails normally for $20. It is cruelty-free, sulfate-free, parabin-free, color-friendly, all of that fun stuff. And it includes some hyaluronic acid, so not just skincare, but in hair. Okay, and then we have Grown Alchemist. So this is nice, very quality skincare. Still haven't done it, but I know it's a good one. This is the Polishing Facial Exfoliant. Physical exfoliant. Retails for $65, usually, and includes bamboo particle, vitamin C, pink grapefruit, vitamin E, and um, glycerin. Um, so yes, um, a physical exfoliant as opposed to a chemical, but I think this is a quality brand, so that's exciting. Seeing it in a glam bag. I'm sure, you know, deluxe size, but really cool. All right, then we have this Bell and Argent. Um, this is only a brand I've really seen in Ipsy. I have liked their some of their products. Um, this is going to be No Fallout Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Caramel. I can't find it on their website, so I can't really give you a retail price. Um, I don't know if it's just Ipsy exclusive or what, um, so I can't tell you a lot about it. <laughs> then this is very exciting to me. This is one of those I definitely want, and it's Ofra because Ofra is one of my favorite brands. Um, so we have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Laguna Beach, kind of this, I don't know, orangey reddish tint. Bright and vibrant, a matte formula. It's liquid, so it's probably going to be um, pretty staining. You know, I think they tend to be, and normally retails for seventeen, seventeen sixty-three to be exact, is what I found. All right, next is this is another one. I'm going to be careful about saying this word on my channel too, because YouTube can be funny about this. Also, um, Juliet, Juliet has a pew, pew, that G word. But what's interesting about it is it's called not a perfume, but it's a perfume. I don't understand. I am not a fragrance and scent and perfume person. So my perfume connoisseurs out there, y'all can maybe tell me a little bit more about this. That's funny. It's a, it's part of the title, not a perfume, but it's a perfume. Okay. So, <laughs> but apparently it's a good perfume because this normally retails for 145 bucks. Wow. Okay, so a little bit about it though, in the, in the description, it is a unisex scent. It's supposed to have a warm and spicy scent. The main note in it is this Cetalox. I have no idea what that is. Maybe my fragrance people know. Sorry, I'm not a fragrance person to help you out there. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a minimalist clean fragrance. And so my fragrance people are probably getting excited to start seeing some fragrance in an empty glam bag, I guess. I haven't really seen a lot. I've seen them in the add-ons. Um, but yeah, this could show up as a choice in, um, our glam bag. So pretty cool. Next we have Estate Makeup, the Estate Precision Felt Tip Liquid Liner. This is an eyeliner. It's going to be good for making bold wings and everything. It's supposed to be a uh, smudge proof and waterproof, all of that. And from what I can see, it retails anywhere from like nine to 15, depending on where you get it from. And then the last thing, this is exciting to me too, because I love my tart. Tarte Deluxe Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Yay! And I know as somebody had told me that this just showed up as an extra in the Macy's Beauty Box, so now I'm excited to see it here. This retails for $12 or 12 to 15 if you get it in a deluxe size, which will be getting in deluxe. I think it's going to be volumizing and lengthening and curling, and it's touted with this tubing technology, micro tubing technology. And what that means is it's supposed to kind of wrap around each lash with these flake-free tubes. It's supposed to give kind of like a false lash effect. Um, so to kind of give you that background. Okay, so that's everything in Glam Bag. Um, yeah, so like I said, a couple of items in there that I'm excited about and some quality skincare I'm excited about. Um, it all looks, you know, pretty good. 
Okay, and then the Beauty Boost product. I did hint at this one in my community tab, but I will go ahead and confirm it again that it's looking like a very exciting one. Gosh, y'all, November is... Woo! They're going to get us with Icon Box and uh, Beauty Boost, aren't they? So Beauty Boost is looking like it's going to be the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. So exciting to see a palette again. There's a lot of folks that have been like telling me on here, I'm so sick of the skincare. We all love skincare and, um, and a lot of people get very excited about skincare too. And I really do too. I mean, I love having a quality skincare product. We just get a lot of it. And um, being a makeup artist myself, I definitely love seeing the makeup and the really good high-end palettes show up like this one. So very exciting. And just so you know, this does retail for $69. Definitely a very high-end quality. I'm loving some of the shades. I'm going to include a couple of the um, shade ranges and color stories for you here. Super like fall. Um, we've got you know, we got mattes and shimmers, of course, and this has almost got like that metallic fall, which I I just love this. You got some gold, some burgundies, but also some smoky. Um, so yeah, definitely think that's appropriate for November. So love that. Super exciting. Okay, so that's everything, guys. We covered BoxyCharm, Glam Bag, and Beauty Boost. Um, I think this is a pretty darn exciting month with having the Icon Box like I said, you're going to have to go watch that video if you haven't seen it or you don't know who the curator is. Um, but then with this combined, there's a few things in there I'm very excited about. If I got those items, I'd be, I'd just be like happy as a clam for November. Um, and Beauty Boost is super exciting too. So yeah, it's looking good, looking pretty good. Um, you know, some things uh, are so-so, but some are exciting, I think. So yeah, what did you guys think? Let me know. Um, also remember that I do usually do a part two or possibly a part two and three towards the end of the month whenever they come out with the official choice and power pick and add-on spoilers. This tends to be kind of re a repeat of these items, but sometimes you see new items show up. And what it does is it just confirms for us which ones are the power picks, which ones are the choice ones, so that you'll know and kind of have an idea of what all you're going to be choosing from, um, that kind of thing. And then if there's some other add-ons, you might be able to throw in there as well. So be looking for that video later on and stay tuned. So you'll want to make sure that you pop the subscribe and turn the notification bells to on so you don't miss it. And other beauty boxes as well that I cover like this one. And um, yeah, that wraps it up. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.